Check out FlipSideGaming.com for all your gaming needs. Use the promo code HEROES to save 10% on all orders over $10. Hey there, this is John from Heroes and Legends, and welcome to the special edition of the Magic the Gathering Market Watch. It is our top 10 hottest magic cards of the week video. This is based on the biggest percentage jumps of the week. And before we get into it, just a quick reminder, if you go over to FlipSideGaming.com, you can use the Heroes promo code to save 10% on orders over $10. Whenever you do so, it does support the channel, which is always appreciated. So, as always, thank you, and without any further ado, let's get into it. Number 10 is the Commander card. You're going to see a lot of that on the list yet again today. We've been talking about that for weeks, how Commander has been the key driver for prices in general in the market. This is Okagachi Vengeful Kami. It goes up $1.40 to five seventy-five for a 32% increase this week. This card can only be found in foil. Many times this is found in Commander Dragon builds. The Ur Dragon was reprinted in Kaleidoscope Killers not too long ago, remember. Number nine is Pull from Tomorrow, up 232 to 493 for an 89% increase. And there's a number of new cards that are playing well with this in Commander. Things like Zixara the Exemplary, Calamax the Storm Sire, Rael the Everwise, Brawl and Sky Shark Rider, and Shabraz the Sky Shark. Number eight is Combat Celebrant, up 298 to 995 for a 43% increase this week. Another card that is seeing increased Commander play due to some new cards out there. Things like Winona Joiner of Forces, Halden Avid Arcanist, and Paco Arcane Retriever. Number 7 is Daxos the Return. This goes up 310 to 499 for a 164% increase this week. Now this does see a fair amount of play as a commander in Commander, but it has seen some increased play recently with Kelsey and the Plague. Number 6 is Cephalid Coliseum from Odyssey. It goes up 412 to 875 for an 89% increase this week. Now, this does actually see some play outside of Commander. You'll find this in Legacy Dredge builds. However, again, Commander is the key driver for this price increase this week. You'll find this being played with, again, a lot of new cards. Things like Rael the Everwise, Brawlin Sky Shark Rider, and Shabras the Sky Shark, and more new cards. Number five is Plunge into Darkness of 436 to 1074 for a 68% increase. This is a great competitive Commander card. Many times you'll find this in Food Chain builds. And those Food Chain decks have gotten a little push by some new cards. Kazar Ruthless Stalker, and Ukima Stalking Shadow. Recently, this has seen more play in general in Commander. Another example would be Corvold Fakers King builds. Number four is Twin Cast. Three copies to talk about. Magic 2010 goes up $1.28 to $9.43. That's a 16% increase. 10th edition goes up $2.13 to $11.23. That is a 23% increase. Saviors of Kamigawa up $4.47 to $11 this week. That one is a 68% increase. This is another card seeing more Commander play, in part because of a new card, Calamax the Storm Sire. Number three, Protean Hydra, Magic 2011, up $1.85 to $4.89. That one is a 61% increase. Magic 2010 goes up $4.97 to $10 for a 99% increase. Now, we talked a lot about this on last weekend's Market Watch, but Hydras have been very popular recently in Commander. A lot of players are building around Sixara the Exemplary right now. Number two is Praetor's Grasp. It goes up 914 to 1398. That's a 189% increase. This is a good competitive commander card, and generally you see this a lot of times in like Send Triplets builds. However, this did get a mention on the EDHREC podcast recently, which did bring more attention to the card. Number one, Ravo Soul Tender from Commander 2016. Only found in foil. These partner commanders from Commander 2016 have been incredibly hot. This is the only one on the list today, but we've seen a lot of them in past weeks. This goes up 2018 to 3697 this week. That is a 120% increase. Now, aside from the places this card was already seeing play in like competitive commander and casual commander, there are a lot of new cards that are pushing this too. Some of the Graveyard Matters cards that came out in Commander 2020, as well as Ikoria, are pushing this slightly. But really what a lot of people are picking this up for is to play in those humans builds. It's in a lot of decks right now alongside Jarena Kudro, General Kudro of Dranith, and General's Enforcer. All right, that does it for the top 10 hot cards of the week. We're going to be back this weekend to do our regular episode of the Market Watch as we do every weekend. That's a much longer episode. We go into a lot more detail. I will see you then. But until next time, hey, thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe and have a great day.
Hey, thanks for watching. This video is made possible through the generous support of viewers like you on Patreon. Check out the description below for links to our Patreon page as well as our Amazon affiliate store where a small percentage of all sales will also help support the channel. Finally, if you haven't had a chance yet to subscribe, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of the new videos on Heroes and Legends. Talk to you again soon and have a great day.